a different gospel. I am surprised that you were so quickly drawn away from him who called you by the grace of Christ to a different gospel. Matthew 1 6 Paul wondered in other words, Paul thought it strange that the Galatians were deceived by the false teachers, the teachers of the law. He wondered why they replaced the good news with a message that could not be called gospel i.e. a good message. He wondered why they allowed themselves to be drawn away from their personal relationship with Jesus to a system of law where they had to live up to in order to receive baptism of the Spirit, healing, etc., rather than simply hearing in faith and trust in Him in whom they had come to believe, see 3 colon 1-5. The same wonder is found in the letter to the Corinthians. I am zealous to you as God is zealous, after all, I have betrothed you to one man, personally, to lead you as a pure virgin before Christ. But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by her trepidation, so too shall your mind be corrupted and drawn away from sincere fidelity to Christ. If someone comes and preaches a different Jesus than the one we preached, or you get a different spirit than the one you were given, or a different gospel than the one you accepted, you will find yourself pretty in it. 2 Cor 11, 2-4 Try hearing what Paul wrote to the Galatians about this faith of the law, which cannot be called a gospel, you have come away from Christ when you want to be justified by the law, you have fallen out of grace. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor foreskin applies anything, but faith, active in love. 5 4 plus 6 In other words, it's not about what you do, but what you think. Resting your faith in Him, Jesus Christ, who called you by His grace, or have you accepted another message and are now fully concerned with saving and sanctifying yourself? But He is because you are in Christ Jesus, who has become us wisdom from God, both righteousness and sanctification and redemption that, as it is written, he who praises himself shall praise himself in the Lord. 1 Cor 1, 30, 31. We will conclude with the Apostle Peter's invitation slash admonition, since you have now been told this before, you have been told in advance, you must be on your guard, lest you be carried away by the errors of the unbridled and lose your foothold, in Christ, in the gospel of grace. My comment, rather, you must grow in the grace and realization of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He belongs to the glory both now and until the day of eternity. 2 Peter 3 verses 17-18 Amen.